I am going to walk you through the disaffiliation process using Dotloop. So first, you need to log into your Dotloop account. Once you get logged in, since you probably have multiple profiles, you're going to click on the photo or initials in the top right corner, and then you are going to go to your onboarding dashboard. And then you are probably typically leaving your filter set to in progress. If the, the agent you are disaffiliating was affiliated through Dotloop, they're probably marked as done. So the easiest thing to do is just select done, click apply. That way the ones that have been finished are showing up instead. You might even want to uncheck in progress, just do done and apply. And then use that search bar. So search for the agent's name comes right up for you. Click on that. So you, this is all the affiliation paperwork that we've used. What I would do is just collapse this folder. You might even want to rename it just to differentiate. Here's all the affiliation paperwork. Add a folder in for disaffiliation just to keep it nice and organized. The other item that you want to pay attention to is the task list. So we're going to scroll down, collapse all of these task lists that had to do with the affiliation process. And then what we need to do is add in the disaffiliation task list. So we're going to go to load template. And there are two, one that um, the roster manager will be using, so select that one, and then one that we will be using as well. So roster manager disaffiliation task list, and then office disaffiliation task list. We need both of those. Click add, and that task list is gonna walk us through everything we need to do when we are disaffiliating an agent. So looking at the roster manager one, I can actually collapse that and I'm gonna work through this one. So if the affiliation paperwork is not already in Dotloop, we do need to scan in the paper file. So for this one, the affiliation paperwork was already here. If this was an agent not affiliated through Dotloop, what we need to do is take all of that affiliation paperwork in their paper file, scan it to our email, and we need to email that into the affiliation folder, and then we need to shred that paper file. Once that is done, then, we can get rid of that one. Add disaffiliation form to the loop and complete it. So we are going to, in the disaffiliation folder, click templates, go to where it has changes slash disaffiliation docs, select the disaffiliation form and click copy. Open up that disaffiliation form. We're gonna fill in the termination date the broker that they are um, heading to, or even if it's just referral escrow, you could put that in there. So autofill, it will flow through to the paperwork a lot of it. What we need to do is either select this and then it will have the Coldwell Banker that they would be going to, um, or we indicate that they are escrowing or transferring instead. Date to remove from dot loop. So if the agent was very respectful about this process and you sat down with them and you said, okay, you have until May 20th to back up all of your dot loop loops, that's what you're putting here. So that your um, office admin, so let's say the 21st, knows how and when to go in and yank that agent out of your real estate transaction office dashboard for dot loop. So you're gonna complete this, you're gonna save, and then let's go back. So add it and complete it. We need to then share that disaffiliation form to the roster manager, to the office, regional admin, to accounting. We need to make sure all of these people have access to that form. So we're going to select it, click share. Typically the roster manager and the accounting person is already here because of the affiliation process. If anyone is missing, add them in. So let's say we need to add in our accounting person. If you need to add in anyone else, you can just click add another person, um, continue to add people if you need to, and then include a message, 
click share, share that form to them so that they have access to it. And then this is kind of just walking through all of the other things that need adjusted. So resetting their voicemail, notifying the real estate commission, association, removing the color copier code. So you're literally just going down through this list and making sure all of the right people are notified so that the agent does get removed from everywhere that they need removed from. Once everything is done, so once the disaffiliation document has been shared to everyone who needs it, all of those items have been checked off, then you are going to click where it says done. You're going to mark that loop as archived because doing that sets a timer for a seven year time frame. So in seven years, this loop will automatically get purged from dot loop. That is the time frame that was decided for how long we want to keep the paperwork for an agent when they are affiliated and then disaffiliate. So that is how to disaffiliate someone using dot loop. Have a great day.